Welcome to the Elite Scripts YouTube channel. As a developer, I go by the handle Warfront1, and today I'm here on behalf of Elite Scripts. Joining me is... Miss Front, who will be co-narrating this video. Today, we will be walking you through how to create a Windows installation USB using an Android device. This method works on nearly all Android devices starting with Android 5 all the way to the latest version of Android. The device you use will need to support USB OTG. The good news is that the majority of mid to high end Android devices support this out of the box. The Android software tools we will use do not need root access and are completely free, no strings attached. There are a number of hardware configuration options that would work for this process, but I will quickly walk over the two most common for the sake of time. The first and best option is an 8GB or more flash drive with a USB Type-C connector. If you don't already have one, we recommend the SanDisk 64GB Ultra Dual Drive Go USB flash drive. It's affordable, decently fast, and reliable. It conveniently features a Type-C and a Type-A connector. This makes it easy to use on both Android devices and PCs with only one piece of hardware. To support the free software, please use the Amazon link in the description. The second best option is an OTG cable and an 8GB or more flash drive with a USB Type-A connector. We recommend the Ugreen OTG cable and the Samsung Bar Plus 64GB USB flash drive. Links are in the description. One more thing before we get started. This process currently does not work with internal SD cards. Let's get started. All right, so I'm on my Android device here and I'm going to go to my web browser of choice here and I'm gonna use Chrome. On Chrome, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to usbzile.com. From there, it'll ask you what platform to select. Obviously, we're gonna choose Android here. Uh, and on this website, we have a listing of the entire instructions for how to do this uh, if you prefer to consume the tutorial that way. But I'm going to continue walking through it on this video. Anyway, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to required files. So we're going to get some of these downloading. The first one we're going to download is this CMOS zip file. So click that. Uh, get that downloading. Now you're going to want to go to the Windows disk image link. That's going to take you to the official Microsoft web page. Now on this page, there's a lot of stuff you could download. Uh, make sure you go down to the one that says Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. So go there and select this drop down button here and select Windows 11. Click Download Now. It's then going to ask you what product language you want. I'm going to choose English. Uh, choose whatever one is appropriate for you. Confirm that. And then you once again have to click this download 64 dash bit download button here. And that one takes a little while. So while that's downloading still, we'll go back over to usbzile.com and we're gonna download the Android app. So click the Play Store icon here and it'll take you over to the Play Store, which will give you an install directly to usbzile for Android. Click install and let that install. Okay, great, that's done. We'll hop back over to Chrome here, see how the downloads are doing. All right, at this point, we're just gonna sit here and wait until the Windows 11 disk image ISO is completed. Okay, great. Looks like both of our files are done downloading. Let's pop back over here to the home screen and go over to the new app we downloaded, USB Zile read through the license terms and agreements, be sure to accept them. And then here you're prompted with the main screen of USB Zile. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select the device. Uh, I already have my SanDisk USB flash drive plugged in here. Be sure that's plugged in prior to running the application. And then you're gonna select your zip file here. Select the CMOS ISO contents you downloaded earlier. Then under ISO image, select the Windows 11 ISO you downloaded earlier. Then click start. So 
it'll ask you to make sure you uh, are okay losing all the data on your flash drive. Uh, once again, this is going to wipe the flash drive clean and put all the contents we downloaded earlier onto it. So be sure you're okay with that and then select yes. Now it's gonna ask you for permissions to access the flash drive. You obviously wanna select okay here. Now, if you have an issue with permissions here, sometimes you're gonna to have to restart your Android device and retry to use USB Xyle. But for most people, it should work perfectly fine the first time. Now, at this point, you really just sit back and let USB Xyle sort of finalize setting up your USB. Once you see this message, disconnect your USB drive from your Android device. We've taken the USB flash drive out of the Android device and placed it into the soon-to-be Windows device. When you boot up to the Windows device, it might boot directly to the flash drive. If not, you may need to adjust your BIOS boot priority settings or use a one-time boot menu. In this video, I'm actually going to demonstrate using a one-time boot menu on a Dell PC. Some PCs may have a slightly different interface or process. I'm going to hit F12 to get into the Dell one-time boot menu. In most BIOSes, you use the arrow keys and the enter button on the keyboard to navigate the boot menu. The first option is already my USB, so I'm just going to hit the enter key to try to boot from that device. The PC should now boot to CMOS, Creation Media Operating System. At this point, you just sit back and let CMOS run. It will run various scripts, and use everything prepared in earlier steps to create the Windows installation media. When CMOS completes, it will automatically restart your computer. At this point, you'll have a fully functional Windows installation media USB. Upon restart, if everything worked, the system will boot directly to the Windows installation media. Sometimes you'll have to use the one-time boot menu again, or you may even need to change your BIOS boot priority settings. However, once you boot to it, feel free to install Windows on the current device or use this same USB on any other device. Thanks for watching. We are interested in hearing what Android devices you have used USB Xyle on and how your experience with CMOS was. If this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue releasing free software.